two months ago, I got a used fuel tank off of a 1986 XT350 to put on my TW200. No dents, no rust on the inside. That's pretty good. Yeah, I first tried peeling the decals off, but that wasn't going to cut it, so I went with sanding it down to bare metal, and the rest came off with aircraft paint stripper. Then I cleaned the residue off with steel wool dipped in acetone, two coats of self-etching primer, and ready to paint. It is a significantly larger tank, and it's important to have clearance. I've got bar risers, have to mine the handguards, and check the steering to see that the upper triple tree isn't hitting it. Just like the TW tank, the XC350 tank has two slots underneath that slide onto the rubber locating dampers attached to the frame. The stock locating dampers are circular and the XC350 tank will fit, but because you want to sit the tank further back from hitting the front of the bike, the slots underneath won't wrap around that well, so what you can do is get like hockey puck material for example, cut them into an oval shape in order to get the tank to latch onto more of the rubber. So with the tank sitting further back, the mounting bracket had to move, so I cut down on where the bolt went through and attached a metal piece with a hole drilled behind the original position, and that's where the new tank is bolted down. On the underside of the seat, I just cut part of the plastic off near where the tab is for a better fit on the tank. I can always straighten out and restaple the seat cover, but the wrinkle doesn't really bother me. Bam, sis.